Over the course of my time on the internet, I've seen many screenshots of people's grandparents or older relatives who just didn't grow up with the internet, attempting to use it without having a, a great deal of knowledge about how it works or what its features are or what you should post where. This is Old People Facebook on Reddit, uh, a hub for all things like that. It doesn't have to be Facebook posts, as the description says. It could be anything on the internet that is just... It, it's usually kind of an endearing situation, you know? It's like they're trying their best, and it just, it just didn't quite turn out as well as, as they had hoped for, and they probably still don't realize that. Uh, after all is said and done. So, I don't know, let's begin down here with... She was with her mom for dinner the night before. Are you safe? Question mark. There was a bombing. Are you safe? Mom, the bomb was in Russia. I'm 10 miles away from you and 5,400 miles away from Russia. Is there really any question? Hey, watch the sass. A simple yes would have sufficed. <laughs> it's like, if you hear about anything on the internet, it must have happened everywhere and everyone is at risk. You've got to check on your loved ones at all time. Any event that took place, got to check on everyone to make sure that they're okay. Oh boy, what do we have next up? Help. Simple, a simple help. I've fallen and I can't get up. I need life alert. Help. What can we help you with, Rob? Thanks. <laughs> uh, you know what? Credit to Walmart for actually like trying to send out a, a, a reply and, and assist. That's all Rob wanted. He was just testing. He was just testing you, Walmart, okay? Wanted to see if you guys would be, you know, receptive to any feedback you got. And you passed the test. Good job. That's why Rob is saying thanks. <laughs> Rob, we appreciate you testing all these different corporations and uh, their social media managers on, on Facebook and Twitter and such. Your services are greatly appreciated. I, I hope there are more Robs out there in the world. Warning. What do we have here? Oh, is it backwards? Is anyone else having this weird thing where Facebook makes you type backwards? So, I'm not I'm not really impressed by this seems like a dead meme. But Dan replies, "Warning, I'm planning to block all who use language but English if I can't translate it accurately." Dan, Dan, it's it's just it's backwards. Oh boy, I'll think I'll think about this. <laughs> At 79, do I have time for all these things? Dan, it's it's okay, man. I know there's a lot in the world that you got to keep up with. I get it. If I had stumbled across that on Facebook, it would have taken me a moment and I would have been like those few seconds of my life are very valuable. I can't have people wasting my time with dead memes on Facebook, okay? That's why I don't browse Facebook very much myself. In fact, I have like I have like 70 friends on Facebook or something. I don't know, maybe last I checked. Because I've never actually added someone as a friend on Facebook. In fact, I don't know how. I have no problem with this, actually. Though most of the people who I'm friends with are either back from high school, who sent, because I made my first Facebook account in my freshman year of college, because I had to have one in order to make the page for YouTube. And so some people from high school ended up sending me requests after that, and other people from my dorm and college, and then a few people since then. I've never made a post on personal Facebook, actually. So I am basically old people Facebook myself. I've never made a post. How do I work it? I've made posts on my YouTube page, so I guess that qualifies. But anywho, uh, what a brave man. Oh, I've definitely seen this before. Not, it wasn't here on this subreddit. It was just somewhere else. So this man was on his way to bring sick, his sick daughter some comic books, but he was savagely beaten and robbed. He managed to recover one of the comments, the comics from the robbers. Would you please give a like, share, and an amen for this brave father? <laughs> Amen. Bless you, fam. Amen to this guy. What a hero. Amen. <laughs> what a hero Wolverine is. Such a heroic guy just out there in the world. Oh, I, I hope this is real. I really do hope this is real. Because I, I saw it elsewhere a while back when, like, Logan just came out. And um, I, I hoped it was real then. I still hope it's real now. You do you, Wolverine. You're a good man. My grandson isn't here. My grandson is supposed to be having a job interview. Is he... See he there? <laughs> Post on Walmart's corporate page. Is he there? Which location, Phyllis? Which location? I love how the names are so old school, too. Like, no one these days is named Phyllis if they were born since, like, 1990, right? Are there any Phyllises? 
since the office is phyllis from the office the the last phyllis to ever have existed no more were named phyllis after that the name died with her that was it at least uh at least walmart hopefully oh walmart didn't reply here they were so good at replying to rob when he said help but they just didn't want to help phyllis dang it walmart you were doing good too i tr i believed in you and your social media employees hi phyllis we hope your grandson oh maybe angela works for walmart though um he didn't go he was busy catching those pokey bugs on his phone <laughs> I didn't even finish reading it. It just, I it, I missed the best part. Delayed gratification there. <laughs> poke bugs. Oh, I remember when I was catching those poke bugs on my phone last summer too, before it died. Margaret, I love Paris. Helen posts on Garfield's group page. And then Margaret tells Garfield to go find those Isis rats, pick them up and throw them back where they came from. Don't eat too much pizza. Or La Lazonia, Lazonia, and get bloated with gas. That's it. Catch the Isis rats and squeeze the cheese to the point of no return. Lifeless. How did we like? Yeah, I think I think we can agree on the Isis thing. But um, how did the how did we go from just like Garfield leaning up on the Eiffel Tower to that? So things escalated very quickly. <laughs> also, Lazonia. I do like me some lasagna for dinner although it's very high in calories and um yeah it's a it's a once every now and again kind of thing that la last zonia um but it tastes real good but sometimes you get bloated so garfield just make sure you don't get bloated when you're out there fighting isis garfield number one isis killer oh boy um uh, my father-in-law likes to caption pictures of my pets on facebook so we have to let her eat with us she's so annoying just ignore her maybe she'll go away Oh, that's right. I tried that with you and you're still here. Hi, what's going on? That's just kind of cute though. I like it. It's not that's that's properly using an internet service. He's doing your your father-in-law is doing a good job. Should actually write some some real comics. He's got a future. Maybe this is just him warming up and he's had lifelong dreams and now the internet is the perfect place to distribute his ideas. So you should be encouraging of that. Congrats, Jeff. Carl, our cat, just ate four bites of a banana. <laughs> it's, yes, this is how we post text on Facebook. Although, you know what? Maybe Jeff is actually a social media genius because posting images on Facebook actually tends to do better performance-wise than text alone does because Facebook determines and prioritizes what it wants to send out to more people who are your friends or follow your page, that sort of thing. And an image generally ranks as higher priority and will send out to more people. So Jeff might just be a social media genius. He wants more people to know about the banana. So he's like, well, if I put this in text, Facebook's algorithm is not gonna send it out to as many people. So I'll put it as a bright orange image that will catch people's attention, therefore get more interaction. Then Facebook will be inclined to share it with more people. Genius. Jeff, you're a genius. You know the social media platforms better than most. Gotta hand it to you. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson once spoiled The Martian for me on Twitter because I follow him and he tweeted out a spoiler before I saw it. And I was like, Neil, what are you doing? Didn't intend to send that last tweet to you. Oh, wait. No, I have a pretty good balance for my body size, but I have fallen over while attempting to quickly take off my pants. It's all right, Neil, we've all done that at one point or another. I didn't intend to send that last tweet to all. I was responding to someone asking if I'd ever fallen trying to remove my t-shirt. <laughs> I mean, he did intend it to be a public reply to a tweet, I suppose, just forgot the at. I feel like I've done that at one point or accidentally like miss added a letter after the at, so it turned into a different username and We've all done it at one point or another. Just stop spoiling the Martian. <sighs> She's obviously not her grandma's favorite. Maybe it's not always about trying to fix something broken. Maybe it's about starting over and creating something better. That's why you have a younger sister here. Ah, dang. Grandma, grandma, yes, yeah, as the top comment says, granny going straight for the kill. Oh my God. Dude, grandparents are supposed to be all about like love no favoritism, just being chill. Like that's how it always was growing up is grandparents are just always chill. They never discipline you. They never do anything. They're just they're just there to be 
Awesome. I guess that's not the case for this grandma. Just, ouch. Joanne is angry. Let's see what Joanne is angry about. Your celery is always filthy. <laughs> she writes on the Facebook page of the Green Giant. I think that's like a vegetable produce company. Hi, Joanne. I'm sorry to hear that. We appreciate the comment, and we'll be sure to pass your feedback along to the rest of the team. whoop dee dee <laughs> Well, so Joanne, you are supposed to generally wash most vegetables that if, if it's not one that has a peel on it or a skin, you just like you wash them off and then it's less filthy afterwards. This whoop de do. <laughs> oh, Joanne, I understand. Dirty celery. It's always a pain. Uh, Grandma's love for the empire has no limit. She thinks it's like an actual <laughs> landscape screenshot. Oh, how beautiful. That's just amazing. God in his finest. Thank you. Love you, Graham. <laughs> she loves the Death Star. Down with those rebel scum. What a beautiful sight. It's a shame that it was ever once destroyed. Sorry, spoiler, but I'm sure you were all aware of that. Or maybe she just really likes TIE Fighters there as well. Just big fan of Vader. You know, real big fan. Big fan of the Emperor. All them. Man's mother likes to use a microphone rather than typing to text while driving. You know what? Safety first. There's also some fried fish. Oh, honey, I know you're not fixing to get over in my lane. Oh, oops. That's perfectly acceptable. I wonder if she actually went, oh, oops, into a separate text message, because that actually translated really well. It actually, I'm, I'm impressed with the text-to-speech there. Well done. I, I've never actually tried it, admittedly. I should. It could be good. I don't text while I drive. Well, at a stoplight, if it's a long stoplight, then sometimes we'll text, but not when the car is actually moving. Probably shouldn't say that, but I'm I'm safe with what I'm... I don't text while moving, okay? That's a rule, but good good job, Mom. Aunt gave birth yesterday, and Grandpa was very excited. Okay. <laughs> May I present to you your new grandkid? Okay. Thanks, Grandpa. Really appreciate the support on that one. You seem very excited. He's just saying, okay, because the baby's face doesn't seem very thrilled about its existence. So, Grandpa's just giving the same sort of reaction. Like, yeah, I mean, it's cool. You know, I've seen a lot of babies in my life. This is grandkid number, like, I don't know, 10. So, at this point, I'm really used to it. I'm sorry, it's hard to put on a fake excited expression after I've had nine others in the past. You know, it's just it's just a lot of kids out there, all right? I don't know how to handle them when they come over to my house. Stop leaving them with us which, so you can go on your holidays. We raised you, children, okay? We don't, we don't now need to raise another 10. All right, a friend posted this, number two of all time. Do you want this bowl? Ladies and gentlemen, my grandmother, do you want this bowl to you? Granny created group. Do you want this bowl? Granny added you. Granny changed the group's icon. Granny left. You're now dead. <laughs> One of two things here. Either this is how Granny thinks that you actually send messages on, on WhatsApp. You have to create a group, title the group, leave the group. Or Granny's like, you are having this bowl. Oh, I like how that's the top comment. You're having this bowl whether you want it or not. She's like, I'm creating this group and leaving it leaving you with the bowl symbolically because I'm about to leave you with this bowl physically and I'm preparing you for it, okay? So it could be a genius maneuver on Granny's part or just completely not knowing how to use WhatsApp. Either one of the two. I feel like this is me with Snapchat, honestly. Everything here, I don't know how to use Snapchat. It, in fairness, I think Snapchat's interface is one of the most unintuitive poor things ever designed. Number one post of all time, savaged by my own grandma. It's honestly amazing how much more I enjoy doing the dishes when I have two essays due on Monday. Nancy, grandmother, I assume. And if you don't do the essays, you may be able to make a career of it. Love you. Ouch. <laughs> Man, we're getting some rebounding back and forth between really supportive grandparents and just grandparents roasting their grandkids. All right. Um... <laughs> That was Old People Facebook. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like if you liked. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more Reddit videos. And subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to listen to the music playing in the background right now, link is uh, in the outro. It's on Marin Music. And um, that's it. I'll see you next time.